Here's a weird 3D printing problem. It's called overextrusion. It's when your 3D printer prints more material than necessary during a print. Overextruded prints look really bad. They look kind of melted or overheated, and they have plastic bulging out from the edges and ridges on the top surface. Overextrusion can cause your prints to look bad, but it can also lead to all kinds of even worse problems. So today, let's talk about it. I'm Stephen McCulloch from 3DQ, and today's video is the ninth out of 14 on our video series, going over all the different failure modes of Quinley Vision, our AI 3D printer supervisor. Today, I'll talk about how Quinley Vision detects overextrusion, why overextrusion happens, and what you can do to prevent overextrusion from happening on your 3D prints. So what is overextrusion? Overextrusion can be identified by ridges on the top surfaces of a print or layers that are kind of bulging or overflowing with plastic. Overextrusion can also be identified by a kind of a melted appearance or some people might say it's an overheated look to a print. And in some cases you can see blobs at the end of 3D printed lines. For an AI to identify overextrusion, it has to look for specific criteria. So when Quinley Vision is looking at a print, if it has an uneven surface texture, then that is the main indicator that the print is overextruded. Now, there's another type of print fail that also results in an uneven surface texture, and that is underextrusion. You can see they both have uneven surface quality, however, overextruded prints look quite bulgy and uneven in a very smooth kind of way, whereas underextruded prints have kind of a rough, pitted appearance, and there might be sharper shadows and more contrast in those uneven surfaces. So why does overextrusion happen in the first place? Well, it's usually just a matter of printer calibration. Maybe you got a slicer setting that's wrong, or maybe you're using the wrong filament diameter, or maybe something in your firmware is causing the problem. So when overextrusion is happening on your 3D print, it's usually accompanied by some other types of 3D print fails and defects. So a common one is stringing. So when overextrusion is happening on a print and there's too much plastic, then when the nozzle moves from one side of your print to another, it'll usually drag a string along with it. Another 3D print fail that's common with overextrusion is the layer shift. So when there's enough plastic buildup on your print, it'll usually get to a point where the nozzle will crash into something that's lifted up because of the overextrusion. And when that happens, you'll get a layer shift. Sometimes instead of a layer shift, you'll actually get the part completely detaching from the build plate. We've covered that one in the detach video that we just did. Sometimes in more minor cases, overextrusion will kind of look like little zits at the ends of printed lines and these just make your parts look ugly, but they don't usually end up causing really bad problems. And the last print fail associated with overextrusion is actually no extrusion. If it gets to the point where it cannot push any more filament out, then sometimes that'll cause the extruder gear to strip the filament and be unable to push any more filament out because there's nothing left to bite into. So if overextrusion is happening on your 3D prints, uh, what are some things that you can do to fix it? Well, it's usually just a matter of something on your 3D printer isn't calibrated properly. So it could be a slicer setting or it could be maybe a firmware thing, but it's usually not too difficult to diagnose because there aren't that many reasons for overextrusion compared to some of the other print fails that we've talked about so far. So the first thing to check is your flow rate in your slicer. This should normally be set to 100%. So just check all of your flow rates. Sometimes you have different flow rates for top surfaces or walls. Just make sure that they're all set to 100% and that'll give you a good starting point for any further diagnosis. Next thing to do is just do a sanity check. Make sure that the filament diameter you're using is also the same filament diameter that you've set in your slicer. If you've upgraded your extruder recently, then you need to do something called an extruder steps calibration, or more commonly called E-steps calibration. E-steps is the firmware value that tells your extruder motor how far to turn to push one millimeter of filament. So if you don't know how to calibrate this setting, there are tons of guides online. So just Google E-steps calibration and you should be good to go. If you're noticing over extrusion on just the first layer or the first couple layers, then one thing you might want to do is just increase your Z offset to make the first layer print a little bit farther away from the build plate. So if you want to be able to detect over extrusion and 13 other types of 3D print fails, check out Quinley Vision AI. And you can actually do that by playing our new game, 3D Printal. This is a game where you can identify the 3D print fails in an image and compare your results to Quinley Vision AI. And that's all for today. So thank you for watching. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.